sink. everyone, it is Dr. Boris, welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach, Happy New Year! I hope your celebration was great, because mine was absolutely fantastic, but this thing though... This is the next thing that's gonna be coming into Boom Beach, be prepared, only 12 days, 22 hours, 33 minutes and 40 seconds remaining, before we get the mighty Dr. T, Fierce, whatever unleashed, to our bases, so... Be prepared for that because there's gonna be a next Boom Beach update and something inside of me tells me this just might be the biggest update we've ever had for Dr. T or just in Boom Beach ever because the campaign that they're right now holding on the Boom Beach website, on Twitter, on, on everywhere, the billboards that you guys in the States are seeing, the commercials that are currently running out, there's already five commercials, that is, we've ever seen only three commercials at the same time being released, so this is absolutely crazy, and I cannot wait to see what's gonna be happening into the game, and what will change for you guys, I'm gonna keep you guys updated with all of that, also, I just want to let you guys know, a little bit later this week, there will be a scheduled video uploaded to the channel, which will discuss everything that's coming into the near future, and I actually want to make a schedule as to when you guys can expect certain things so that way I can hold myself to it and that way uh, you guys can decide whenever you want to be tuning in. It's going to be very exciting and the next thing I want to talk about before we actually get into the takedown is that I'm right now working on a t-shirt design. Now I've already said this one before but in this particular case uh, I'm gonna let you guys have a voice in what you guys would like to see in a t-shirt design. Now please hear me out because there's something in it for you guys as well. Here's what I want in a t-shirt design. I want to create a t-shirt for you guys that you guys will enjoy and doesn't have my name and does not have my logo on it. So anybody can literally wear it. Now I came up with an idea of having a big thumbs up in there and at the bottom it would say like boom. I think that would be a cool idea and the, and the thumbs up in the t-shirt itself would be exploding like there would be like certain graphics uh, making it explode like out of the t-shirt or something like that. Something like that cool because I would just hate like I see many YouTubers upload like get a t-shirt design and stuff right like I, I watch a lot of YouTube I see people having t-shirt designs and every single time I'm like dude that t-shirt does not look cool it has your logo or your name on it and no disrespect or anything like that but I just figured if you want to give your people a t-shirt to, to wear or you want them to, to buy a t-shirt of yours or something for them to wear it should not say something like your channel or something like that because it's just like awkward when you go outside with your friends hanging out why does your t-shirt say reversal now I don't want something like that here's where you guys come in if you guys can come up with a cool t-shirt design of sorts or an idea uh, then I'll have my uh, artist design of which by the way what you're seeing right now below me that's a new layout he will actually design the t-shirt and if we pick your idea, you're going to be sent a t-shirt right at your home. Doesn't matter what size it is, uh, you'll be getting one delivered as a thank you for helping us decide on the t-shirt design. So there's something in it for you guys as well. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments what kind of a design you would like to see for that t-shirt. And of course, I'm going to be doing t-shirt giveaways. And I still have some exclusive Boom Beach limited edition t-shirts available for you guys. More on that in the very next future. Right now, situation at hand, Dr. T. We're going to take his base down. We have arranged, uh, we have arrived to stage number four. Now, for this one, what I like to do is actually try to get as many like capsules or uh, other buildings for free. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm killing these buildings off. The 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 free supply buildings or the the crystal solution buildings like for all free gumball energy because I feel that's worth it. Then here on out, I'm going to be dropping some smokes here. So that way we can make our way to the headquarters really easily. We still have loads of gumbo energy. And I would like to remind you of the fact that I'm currently doing this without any boost whatsoever. Uh, because my warriors are maxed out level. I am going to be dropping some shock bombs on anything that can insta-kill my warriors at this point. Which are boom cannons. Shock launch is going to be quite annoying. But also cannons. And then we're ready for that takedown over here. Um, it's really funny but uh, because I think... Instead of medkits, I dropped shock bombs on my own units. But you know what? That's okay. We actually didn't take any casualties. Oh, wait. We took two casualties. That's kind of unfortunate. Now, I want to let you guys know that in three days from now, I'm going to be doing another Boom Beach Endurance test. And this time, it's going to be featuring my good friends, the Grenadiers. Right now, these guys are going up to level 10. 
So they're not quite maxed out yet, but I really want to try it to the test. If you guys know of any variation you would like me to use on the Grenadiers the moment they're maxed out, I would also like to hear about that in the comment section down below. Right now also, I got some real good news in regards to the intro. Now, intros are very, you know, opinionated. That's what I feel. Like, it needs to be part of what you feel is best. Like, to, I like my intros to be cool, you know, unique. Uh, most importantly, but right now they're not that they're very template based which kind of sucks and I, I wish to change that so I'm happy to let you guys know That I am working together to come up with the best possible type of intro Which you guys will also like very much this guy that I am talking about who's working on my intro is a guy who's working at Sony Entertainment so it's a real professional. I'm paying a good price for it, but I can assure you that the moment we're done with the intro, uh, I'm gonna make sure that it looks good. Like, I'm always in the quality kind of stuff. I'm always trying to figure out... I'm a watcher too on YouTube, and whenever I see a cringe-worthy intro, I'm just like, I don't really feel like watching that. So uh, I'm exactly the same when it comes down to stuff like that. So I'm gonna make sure that it looks quality-wise the best intro that I've ever had that I probably never will have to replace again. It's gonna be between 4 to 7 seconds, because I feel that's the optimal time for an intro. But yes, I'm really working on on quality kind of stuff stuff that i feel you guys will be liking because i feel that is important i get a lot of comments of people saying well you got you were so uninspired with boomish but don't get me wrong here i got plenty of ideas and um yes as, as already mentioned before <clears throat> my little secret project that i'll be doing with other boomish youtubers that information will be coming this week as well and i'm going to get started with producing the episodes on that too um but yeah you guys will really really like it it's a guarantee from my side anyway let's start on focusing on dr t because i've rambled way too long about the stuff that's happening onto the channel which some of you guys are probably not even curious about but yeah i just figured i'd give you guys a little update while i'm taking down this dr t or trying to at least okay so what we're facing right here in the front is a flamethrower which is kind of burning up my warriors but it's not really hurting that bad from this point on i can just see where the warriors are going and then drop a smoke accordingly and i need one more smoke to make my way up to the warriors up to the headquarters and then dropping a mad kit because a lot of these mice see how much damage they did on the warriors here it's pretty insane when you think about it we gotta be very careful with our shocking so i'm gonna drop some critters at the top to get us some extra gunboat energy dropping the artillery over there at the flamethrower so that way it dies out and then hopefully we're going to be able to take this one down dropping the medkit onto the headquarters saving some of the warriors and we took it down but we lost half of our warriors so this one was pretty tough uh, to say in the least um and i wonder what stage number seven is looking like on this dr t first dr t of the year um i'm gonna make a little video as well this week uh regarding what i think is gonna be in the boomage update and what i wish for uh, five things or so that I really want to see in a Boom Beach update. And uh, more Boom Beach base reviews. More Boom Beach base reviews will be coming as well. Now this stage number seven is quite intimidating from the left side. In the front here. It's quite intimidating. So let's take a look at what is at the right side. And I see a whole bunch of free builders we can pick up. And I think... No, I, I don't think I want to risk the bunker. But one, two, three, four, five... Six and this rocket launcher won't really hurt that much, but look how much health this rocket launcher has. It has 18,100 health, 18,126 health. That is pretty insane, and that's because the statue over here is a 218%. Imagine if you had that kind of a statue on your base. I want to drop a barrage over here, reason being you'll be getting all of those mines that we really want to take out, but also these buildings is essentially a win-win situation, and then from there, all we need to do at that headquarters is sho shock all of these machine guns over here, at the center we want to shock the flamethrower, the machine gun, the other machine gun, and the shock launcher, and at the right side we probably want to drop another shock bomb onto those three machine guns over here in the center, maybe getting the fourth one, but also... Uh, I don't think the flamethrower is playing a major role. It won't even reach. So that's what we're going to be doing. Starting off with a, a barrage. And I'm going to be dropping it right here. And uh, let's see what we take out. Okay, so we took out the crystal solutions. And all of the mines that are wanted to take out. So that's a very nice beginning. And then over here, dropping the warriors. Just like this. Going to the crystal solutions. 
and then also the the supplies and hopefully they won't walk to the left side there because I honestly would not like that and I think I can actually afford hitting the uh, rocket launch actually taking it out before a, a cannon or flamethrower will take us out okay here we go as you can see the warriors won't really get a whole, bit of, a whole bunch of damage here which is a good thing I am going to be dropping some cr uh, a shock bomb over there uh, because otherwise the boom cannon will just hit us and the regular cannon and I think we should move our way to the headquarters right now We're gonna be moving to the top here Getting those smokes in and then making our way up to the rocket launch over there That's going to be my checkpoint in which one to heal up uh, a little bit of, of warriors here I'm gonna be dropping some artilleries onto those mines because they will hit my warriors And then I am ready to walk my way up to the headquarters I right now because I took down every single building that I could take down I have 70 gunboat energy. Once again, this is an unboosted run, so I think I'm doing fine. Now, getting into the phase where I need to shock everything. See where I drop those shocks? That's where you really want to be dropping those. At the left side over here, in the middle, and then at the right side as well. And it should be enough to actually take down this, uh, this Dr. Terror. As you can see, a couple of more hits. I don't think my units will be dying, but this is going to be relatively clutch. As a matter of fact, we might actually lose this one. Because of the incredible boost that this Dr. T has ongoing. And there you can see, still only 10% health left. And I'm going to quickly take a look what I did wrong and what I can improve. And I'll meet you guys back again if we're going to be attacking again. Okay, so right now you're seeing the fact that not the entire headquarters is surrounded by the warriors. A little bit earlier I saw quite a bit of warriors dying because of the mines. So that's an issue. But let's see what's happening here. I think it's honestly just a machine gun. Being enabled again, I actually missed this machine gun at the right side. It actually killed quite a few warriors there. And then everything reactivates and ends up killing my warriors. So that being said, let's head over back to the base, get our warriors back and then start it to attack again. Dropping the barrage a little bit lower. We might not get every single gunboat energy, but that's okay. At least we got one more mine, which is cool. Dropping the artillery over there. Okay, we have arrived. We didn't need to reflare our troops, which is a good thing. And some of these wars are already focusing onto that rocket launcher. And the and the cannon doesn't even reach my warrior. So that's a good thing, right? Gonna be dropping the shock bomb over there. I'm a little bit concerned with the with the rock with the rocket launcher over there is actually packing a punch. So I'm gonna leave that final uh, mortar alone. And there we are at the uh, actually making it up there. Very nice. Dropping a med kit just to be sure and then uh, this time i'm going to be ignoring those mines over there so that's one thing i'll be doing and then making our way up to that colors the boom mine does hit some of my warriors right now we only lost five warriors so we're good to go and here we are this time i am going to be shocking a little bit better like this okay there we go and actually having a mad kit left i think will help me out in the long run and as you can see Doing a whole lot more damage. I think I really lost a lot of warriors there with those mine placements. So uh, over here, drop the barrage a little bit earlier. Or a little bit further, closer to the shore. Further away from the headquarters. Uh, so that way, maybe you're not going to be getting as many buildings. But your warriors will be surviving a little bit longer. Actually a relatively easy takedown. A little bit harder than most Dr. T's. But still uh, possible and boosted. So I'm very happy with that. And there we go, we actually took it out and I forgot to take a look at the dialogue screen, but uh, this is my guide on Dr. T today. So uh, that's going to be wrapping up this video of, of Boom Beach, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. The questions that I asked you guys in regards of the design and such, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it and what you want to see uh, when it comes down to the t-shirt design. And yeah, make sure, be sure to tune in a little bit later today for another episode of Boom Beach. And later tonight, I am going to be streaming some Boom Beach. More Clash of Clans is coming tomorrow. Be sure to be on the lookout for that as well. And now we're really going to be wrapping up this video right here. So as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. That being said though, my name is Mifreversal for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.